Are you sh are you sure you want to start streaming? Yes, I want to start streaming. Um, right. God, I hope this works. Uh, hi guys, Todd here. Lazy, lazy vlog time. Uh, I think I have audio. I haven't put a no notification or anything up for this going ahead. Uh, I'm just being really, really so lazy. Uh, and I thought I would just do this quickly live on YouTube. So, um, do I even have, I should push buttons and, and make sure stuff's working before I launch into talking about stuff. Uh, is this, is this even working? Let's, let's try this test. One, two, three. That's working. Uh, right. What else should I check? We've got microphones. We've got, oh, we've got close up shit going on as well. Oh my God. Uh, it's it's all going on here. Uh, make sure stuff's working before. Yep, that's working as well. Right, good. Let's go. Right. Um, first off, before we get going, I just want to say a huge thank you to the lovely man that is Mr. Grove from Modmaker.co.uk for sending me this this musical masterpiece by Billy Ocean. Suddenly. Uh, on vinyl no less on vinyl uh, I, I would play it but um, then copyright laws and all I don't know but uh, th there's a long story behind this but this just put a massive smile on my face so so Rick if you see this but thank you so so much uh, you're an absolute head case and I, I love you to bits for it um, I'll bore you to death about it I'll tell you the story one day uh, right Quite a bit of vape mail actually come in today as well. Quite a bit of vape mail. Um, we have. Where will we start? We'll actually start with. Who will we start with? Decisions, decisions. We'll start with MK mods. MK mods. Uh, now, this. This little squonker here. Um, now, hopefully, this uh, this closey uppy camera stuff will. Um, <gasps> look, it's working! Oh my god, this is so unusual. Uh, right, so this is a single 18650. That's a Cyan Mods drip tip. That's the, the convergent that is on top of there just now. And there you go, you can see. We'll go that way. MK Mods. It's got, uh, I think it's a Mod Maker, strangely enough, Mod Maker 510. It's a Mod, I think it's a Mod Maker bottle and, you know, juicy system, all the rest of it. Uh, we've got MK, this is a stab wood one. And the firing button is that. See that little triangle? Now, I'll be completely honest, uh, when this arrived, <laughs> I'm such a knob, um, I thought I'd broken it. I thought I'd broken it uh, because uh, when I was pushing in the fire button, nothing was happening uh, but then I realized that when I put a battery in it I'd been playing about with the fire button before I put an atty on it and it's actually a bomber I think it's a bomber pro a bomber pro that's inside this and uh, it's got a three click on and off so I'd, I'd actually switched it off so I was sitting here typing out a long email to the guy saying I'm really sorry but I think it's, it's broken on arrival but um, it wasn't Where's that fan blown? Anyway, um, so that's MK Mod. So a review for this shall be coming. Uh, it's it's actually size wise. Can I compare it to anything? I tell you what, uh, size wise, this is about the. So this is my um, Elemental Mods. So we'll just doink. There you go. It's it's quite similar in size actually. I think. Yep, it's, it's got the same kind of vibe going on, if you like. Uh, it's nice. Obviously, I'll have to uh, hammer it and, and give it a good going for a while before we, we, we see how it's working. Um, now, let's just try some other stuff here. I am just clicking on buttons uh, because, because I can. Um, I don't even know if I've made this live. <laughs> 
I've probably I've probably done something wrong here. <laughs> what the hell? I'll keep going. I'll keep going. I've got a horrible feeling that I've not actually made this live and I'm just um I'm just talking to myself. How can I check this? Can I can I I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go on my Facebook group and um and, and see if anybody can actually see this on there. Uh hang on, I'll try Dean. No Dean's not there. Bugger! How am I gonna check this? Oh what the hell, we'll keep going. Actually I'm quite enjoying the peace and quiet without chat going crazy at me. Right. A huge shout out to a young man from down under. I don't know about the young bit, but um I got a present. I got a really nice present uh, from Phil, uh, who's Dingo Vape. Uh, Dingo Vape is it all one word or two separate? You'll find him in Facebook. Uh, but he sent me this. It came in this beautiful wooden box, um, and, and I'll show you this down here. Where do we? Where do we go? Where do we go? Here we go. Here we go. So it came with uh, a little five ten atty stand, and he's. he's, he's He's been scribbling on the back. So a little 510 app. So this wood, he used that wood to make the mod as well. Uh, so we'll put that to one side and, and I'll show you this. Whoop. Firing button up here. So he's using a, a mod maker uh, battery tube in here. Uh, under there, mod maker bottles and all the rest of it. So you pretty much just, uh, we'll get this off, I don't want to break anything, there we go. Uh, oh no, it's not a mod maker bottle, it's a Lost Vape bottle, I should meant, meant to say, Lost Vape. But uh, he's got the silvered out kit going on in here. And it's just, it's not, I mean, this was a gift. So I'm not going to review this as such, because it was a gift, but uh, for, it, it's larger than a lot of your, your standard, you know, a lot of your tiny little squonkers that you see out there. And it is a single 18650, but the wood is absolutely gorgeous. And, and for me to hold this is just really, really nice. Uh, boink, back up top. So for me, excuse, excuse the scratch, I was, I was fitting cabinet doors in the, not the toilet, <laughs> in the kitchen. And uh, one got the better of me. So, uh, so yeah, it's and just my thumb up there, and it's really, really comfortable to vape with. Uh, so this was a present, and thank you, Phil, once again. Uh, thank you so, so much. It was really appreciate. Actually, hang on a second. This was the the box that came in. I just want to give you the the wood because I've forgotten what kind of wood it is again. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, is it bird's eye burl, stabilized, oiled, and waxed? There you go. Um, listen, when, uh, there's a big difference between, you know, when you, when you get stuff sent for review, obviously it's part of the gig, it's part of the job, it's what I do. Uh, but when somebody sends you just a little thank you, um, not little, because uh, that's awesome, uh, but just a thank you, uh, just puts a big kind of smile on your face, uh, it really does. Um, now, I'll, I'll pop this over here just now, blink. Uh, other stuff we have in the go. Now, I have, uh, I will be doing a review for this. Let's um, get a bit of... I, I didn't steal this from a council toilet. I bought this. This is my blue roll dispenser. Uh, many people think I should have a condom machine beside this and a urinal, but um, this is this is there for a reason. People just take the piss out of me. Anyway, um, so close-ups. Now, this is the, the legend, and yes, there'll be lit gunk going on there. This is the, the new RDA, RDTA from 
a Phoenix and there will be a review out possibly Wednesday or Thursday for this one um, as I said it, it's an RDT as well you can convert it on the fly if you like uh, you get a 2 mil tank with it as well so you can just button the, the 2 mil tank to the bottom uh, it's good I am enjoying it I am not a fan of RDTAs I have to be honest um, it's just not my thing shall we say uh, but um, I do enjoy the fleet I enjoy the vape from this more than I do the Resurrection V2 which is quite strange because I'm a big fan of the Resurrection V2 uh, but uh, so I've had this got this middle of last week so it'll be middle of this week before I do a review uh, but I said I would get one out quick for them because I know they're launching it or they have launched it already uh, but you get a different airflow cap for it as well uh, a narrower one I wouldn't say it's you're not mouth to lung with this it's not designed for mouth to lung so nah, I wouldn't nah. mouth to lungers don't apply uh, something else that um, did I show you this last did I show you the BAM that I bought second hand uh, I can't remember if I showed you this in my last vlog. Um, this is from Big Apple Mods. I, I bought this second hand uh, because I always fancied playing with one. Uh, it's a DNA 75C. It's all Ultum. Um, it's been vapored, so, so that's why it's a really shiny Ultum. Um, but the, this this thing is a it's a behemoth. It's a big old beastie. But um, I've had a 12 mil bottle of juice in this thing. It's a single 18650 as well. And you know you can get them in different. You can get them all Ultum or all Black Ultum, all Yellow Amber Ultum. So there's lots of variations available. Uh, if you're interested, I would go along to. Now does he call himself Bam or I think it's Big Apple Mods on Facebook. Um, there's actually videos of them throwing this about and I'm not just talking gently throwing it, launching it. I mean launching it. I think he drove a car over it as well and um, there's just like small chips out around the edges but it still works. This thing takes a beating. It really does. Uh, I will also say that you get left handed and right handed variations. Um, I think this is a left handed one which doesn't bother me because I can squonk left or right handed. And with having bigger ha bigger paws, uh, I can actually, with my right hand, I can fire there and my finger stretches round to squonk with it, no problem at all. Uh, so that's Big Apple Mods, the BAM DNA 75C. This is not cheap. This, depending on the spec, you're looking at about $500 and more, depending on the spec you go for. So, uh, not a cheap one. Uh, not a cheap one. Um, I'm also still puffing away with this. I don't know when the the release version. I don't know. I think uh, Raphael's taking some time off a holiday. Uh, but this is the uh, the new Neo sixty from sixty seven mods. DNA sixty board in there. Excuse the fingerprints as always. And yeah, I, I'm really enjoying using this wee thing. It's a dinky wee thing, and uh, and it works well. Um, other stuff, other stuff. I hate doing this live stuff. I just I'm dry, dry already. Thankfully, my good lady bought me a bottle of pop juice. Look at it, cherry. Oh god, that's better. Um, yeah, maybe not. Uh, right. Um, other stuff. Now, I do hear through the grapevine. I do hear through the grapevine that I think these are going live very soon. I think these are coming up for sale soon. The the DDP Evo. Um, I've not heard anything. I just um, a little birdie told me that they might be coming up. I don't know the details yet, so I can't do anything about that just now. Um, also, the 
the myth uh, from EVL Bampot that he is. Uh, that is. I don't know what's happening with that. I don't know. I know he's making tweaks to it before it goes public, but uh, so that will be coming soon. Um, <clears throat> did I show you this one last time? I don't. I'll get my little note so that I make sure I'm giving you the right information. It's the R2 RDA by Conco Conquio Conquio mods. Um, this is a. I'm sure I showed you this before. Um, let's do a little. This little thing here. It's absolutely. This is a titanium top cap, titanium base. Um, excuse the juice, as always. It's very similar to the the micro micro. Uh, by <gasps> Adler Industries was it Adler? Um, but it's about half the price, if not more than half the price, uh, and it's actually got a, my humble opinion, it's got a better design to it as well. Um, I just prefer it. It's, it's actually quite good, this wee thing. Um, I think they've already got lists up. It's a Facebook group thing, as far as I know. Uh, but I, I do... It's a nice little squonking RDA, this. I mean, look at the size of it. It's tiny. It really is tiny. So that's coming along soon. Uh, another one that's coming along soon. I'll show you this on the close-ups. Um, the Shuran. Shuran? I think that's how you say it. it comes in this little oil can. Um, this is uh, another 22mm RDA. Uh, this is by Vapor Skull Custom. And I'm covered in e-liquid again already. Can you believe this? Um... Uh, Comes with a couple of drip tips. It's got a peak deck and stainless steel deck going on there. It's actually... Uh, it's a very similar to design to a lot of the stuff that you have seen already on the market. It does have some differences that do set it apart a little bit, but not a huge amount. Um, it's not shit. <laughs> it's not shit. Uh, I just wish it was a bit, a bit more different. God, my grammar is terrible. Uh, but anyway, you know what I mean. Um, another one that I'm puffing away with is the the Drop Dead Solo. I, I, uh, I know I got a bit. Uh, I'm, some people weren't happy with my review of the drop dead um, because of the way I described the airflow um, and they said they had the coils too high and blah blah and so on and so forth which is fine uh, that that's absolutely fine that's that's your take on things uh, my review was my take on things uh, you're more than welcome to go and do your own review and give your opinion but you know that's all it is it's just an opinion um, so I, I just for that I just I didn't think the whole angled airflow didn't really work because the, you had two rows of seven air holes on each side. You had fourteen air holes on each side. The top seven, the, you know, the inner top cap section did had a chamfer on it. So yes, there was an angle there, but the bottom row didn't. So the the air was all it was like cancelling one another. The, the angled airflow did nothing, uh, nothing in my opinion. So I wasn't a huge fan of it because of that and I found that I got better flavour from the drop and from the dead rabbit by themselves. Now, I've got the, the drop solo here, um, which I think is... I, no, the, the airflow once again in it is just, for me, is wrong. It's just wrong. Um, Will I sh can I show it? I don't, I don't like it. I don't know how. I, I don't even know if I'm going to review this uh, yet. It's way down my queue, uh, mainly because I'm just not a fan of the design. I'm really not a fan of the design. Uh, but here we go anyway. Right, uh, closey up here. So it's a single coil. It's basically half the drop deck. So you've only got two coils there. 
uh, and nothing on the other side. You can see the state of my coil. Um, the issue I have is that the airflow is on both sides. Um, this this the, the should have. They should have just made this a single airflow cap, just airflow on one side, in my opinion, uh, because the, the airflow just isn't getting the best flavour. I, I find I have to really ramp up the wattage to get any kind of decent flavour on this. For a single coil RDA, for me, it just doesn't work. It's... I, I, do you know what? It, it's like... Uh, if you like a, a single coil flavor banger RDA, I know that the whole flavor thing's subjective, but you know, you have a little short top cap with a single coil with a reduced deck and a dome chamber inside and, and you get a oh, really intense flavor. Well, this is just like a coil slap bang in the middle with lots of air coming in. Um, and, and you need power and air to get it to do anything to get any kind of flavour from it and because of that it's just not for me at all at all it really isn't I'm still panicking that I'm doing this video and I haven't made it live in any shape or form and this is just <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen here I am live you are live <laughs> I'm a broken have I broken something? I bet you've broken something. Um, ah, what the hell? We'll keep going anyway. Uh, right, what else? I said yes to uh, a company. I can't even remember the name of the company now. Who were they called? Um, <laughs> I can't see this. <laughs> That's terrible. VX Tech. They do the, the X, XRDA. I know Dean's had a look at this already and he's talked about it. And um, that was the only reason I said yes, because uh, you know Dean kind of said nice things about it. So I thought, I'll have a go at that. So I've put it on my brick, uh, my Bassium. Uh, my Bassium. And um, this is... This isn't shit. This, this really isn't bad at all. Um, Hang on, I'm just going to... Oh, I'm flooded in juice here. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, don't speak with your mouth, though. It's very, very rude. So that, that's my... That's my day. Uh, take that out of your mouth, yeah. Rude sod. So there we go. But this is the top cap. And... Remember the Velocity did this? Yeah, he screwed this up and down. And it opened the airflow. It's, I'm not going to go into a great deal of detail here, but um, just dry that off for a second. It's, I was actually chatting to Dean this morning, uh, we are just having a chat, and uh, I was building it while we were talking, and uh, surprised, I, I'm really surprised how much I am enjoying this. I'm going to line up this top cap, is that right? That's right. Um, if I just open that air hole just a tiny little bit, that's a nice restricted direct lung. I can, very restricted direct lung, and I can open it up a little bit more. It's not bad. I need more power. Uh, for some, I used the coils that came with it, two, co two parallel coils, and it came out at 0 0.13 ohm. Um, so I better, I'm, I'm at 60 watts now, which is unusual for me, but... That's really good. Very surprised. I am genuinely surprised. It doesn't feel like it's... Um, made out of 316 steel, stainless steel and the, the most luxurious product in the market but it's got a good va I'm, I'm enjoying the vape from it just after playing with it for a couple of hours and and as always um, Dean's Mod I do like using this he knows I like using this I, I know I take the piss out of him because that's what any good mate would do is wind up 
somebody about something they've done. He knows I'm chuffed for him, but I will take the piss out of him. Um, because that's my duty. Uh, other stuff uh, that came from that same company, they sneaked this in. I didn't agree to have a look at it. But uh, look at this. 2013. We're back. We're back, baby. Um, this, can I show you under here? Until you see this. Look at that. The soulmate. Uh, why is everything always covered in juice? That's my elemental mod. Um, that's my hydrogen. Love this mod. That's a uh, twenty six six fifty. Uh, if what? Anyway, um, this is a mouth to lung RTA. It's got a GTA deck, whatever that means. It's got a GTA deck. It's very, it's very similar to a K fun in some respects, and it's got. It's got Very good. <laughs> it's, it's ugly as sin. Listen, it comes in a host of colours. It really does come in loads of colours. Uh, and I chucked a coil in this just for shits and giggles. And I honestly thought once again it would be, this is shit. Uh, but it's giving off a remarkable, this takes me back, vape wise. It's just a, I mean, that's a heavy VG. Uh, I'm using um, this. This is my, my, I've been hammering the hell out of this. I got this from Simon Sawyer's uh, Strawberry Fields Eclipse. I think it's it's coming soon to Just Add Nick. Uh, it's a cakey type e-liquid with a little bit of custard in it. And um, it's superb in that RDA, RTA. It's really, really good. Um, so, uh, who would have thought? Who would have thought? More tea, Vicar. Uh, excuse me. Burpee. Oh, this arrived, and I haven't even opened it yet. Um, here we go. We'll, we'll open this together. Let me get this out of the box. Right. Um, <laughs> soon will I read the name in the box. Cloud Mods. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> you get a lot of gear, you forget names. Uh, Cloud Mods in Greece. Uh, now this is the new version of, is it the Cloud One it was called? This is the new, new version. Um, I've got all the details and, and the emails and whatnot, which I'll cover in the review, but I'm, I'm opening this with you. So uh, this is just, I think, I think these are just accessories that you can buy separately. But um, this is how it arrived. How cute is that? A wee leather pouch. That's really smart. I think that's a beautiful way to present a, a little RTA. So let's have a look and see what's inside. Uh, we'll just... It looks like a PMMA tank in there. Uh, and what else have we got? We've got O-rings and stuff. And, oh, these are... Um, I think these are mouth-to-lung bungs or plugs, whatever they call them. I'm not, sh I'm not sure how they work them. Because uh, I've never, I've never, I've never owned or looked at one of these before. Uh, so we'll, we'll have a quick look. Oh, that is pretty. I think this is the blasted. Is it the blasted edition they're calling it? I could be wrong. That's a very, very pretty RTA. Um, let's have a. Let's just unscrew it. Threading seems nice. I know there's quite a loyal fan base for these. That's a media blasted deck. Okay, okay. Right. So, uh, like I said, details in that. I don't, I don't really have any details to give you just now. Is that? No, that's that's not glass. Or is it glass? I don't know. I'll have to read the email. I'm sorry. I should have come prepared. Threading's really nice on it. It does have adjustable airflow, and the air is. Oh. 
no coil, but that's got a oh, that's got a nice restricted lung hit. Oh, that's not bad. That's not shabby at all. I think it's a uh, yeah, it is. It's, do you remember? Oh, don't have to show you up there. I can show you down here. You fill it through these air holes. That is quite a classy looking little RTA. That really is nice that, I do like that. Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna tidy it up and put it all back in the box, put it back in the bag because I'll forget what came from who and from where. And I have actually seen me doing reviews with drip tips from the wrong manufacturer sometimes because I've done this and I've mixed all the bits up and people contact you and say, that's not the drip tip that came with it. <laughs> what do you what do you expect sending stuff to me? <laughs> uh, so that's really cute. I don't I, I'm not sure in the pricing or anything like that, but yeah, there we go. Right, what else can I bore you with? <gasps> um, this uh, the vicious ant spade DNA seventy five C. I popped up a little bit, it was bugging me. The theme that comes with it, the, the select, you know, when you select something in a DNA 75C, it normally changes color. They hadn't done that with this theme and it was bugging me. That's why I put up a tiny little two minute video uh, just showing you how to change that because I, yeah, it just bugged me. Um, This is good. This this is a good mod. There's there's no it has a couple of niggles. I do have a couple of cons with it, which I will cover in the review. Um, they're not major cons as such. They're not major cons, but in fact they're uh, yeah. I would buy one if if I could buy one of the. I know I wouldn't buy one direct because the shipping and, and all the rest of it and import fees. So it's $350 to buy, $50 for shipping. Then you have import fees on top of that. No, um, I know, is it VAP store in France? I think they have them. And I'd go down that route myself. I'd, I'd buy from there, uh, but that's just me. Uh, but no, I, I, I would, I would buy one of these for myself. Uh, if you'd given me this and then taken it away, I would, yeah. Never thought I would say that about a Vicious Ant product again, but there you go. It's definitely not shit. And I'm sorry the focus is buggering about there. Buggering about. Um, that is it, I think, I've covered. Uh, videos that uh, I, I did do this week. Um, I did videos. Um, I'm sure I did videos. I put up a video for my little uh, cloud laboratory. Uh, cloud laboratory. Um, here's my wee guy here. This little guy here. Um, the Y mod. Let's get that out of the way and show you this. If you haven't seen the video. So basically what you did was you ordered the shell, the mod, uh, from Shapeways. And then you ordered all the contacts and internals. Yeah, you know, I got them as a package from Stealthape in the UK. Uh, so this little 3D printed squonker came to about £70. Um, and it, it's a tremendous little thing. It really is. I think he's done a great job on this little project. And I can't wait to see what he comes up with next. So, I, I, yeah, go watch the video. Um, it's really simple and this is tiny. This is a tiny little mod. Uh, done a really good job. Um, How is this for Twisted? The triad or triad uh, DNA 250C by Lost Vape. Didn't get many views on that. Not many people watched it. That's fair enough. It's, uh, it's a mod that's been out before and it's got a new board in it. However, I cocked, I, no, yes, I did. I cocked up, I made an assumption. 
I made an assumption. Um, I would say that no, the vast majority of gear that comes from China, when it says carbon fiber, or it makes claims to materials, it is normally just means it's a carbon fiber sticker. It's carbon fiber over glass fiber. Uh, it's not carbon fiber, real carbon fiber. So I did a review and then the, the, the guys from Lost Vape uh, contacted me and said, we saw the video, but we just wanted to say that um, it's actually, it's real carbon fiber. And uh, like real carbon fiber over, you know, like carbon uh, glass fiber layer. No, 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 it's real carbon fiber. And it's actually Kevlar that's on the battery door. And I was like, yeah, yeah, awesome. So I had a spare one here. So as soon as I got off my conversation with them, I just broke it. I took it to bits and I ripped everything apart and I put it in the video and, and it is real carbon fiber and it is Kevlar and it's, why? And, and the thing is, when I said, I went back and said to them, I've put this video up and uh, they went, yeah, but we're surprised that, um, why you didn't believe us. Uh, we've actually put it on the website. You know, we do say that it's carbon fiber. I went, yeah, but you should be shouting about the fact that it's carbon fiber. You should be, you know, shouting from the rooftops because nobody else from that part of the world is doing the real gear. Uh, so 10 out of 10 to Lost Vape. Seriously, 10 out of 10 uh, for, yeah. So there you go. Um, and so I did that one. I did a review for Le Spring by Vaphorn, um, which is here on the wall. Uh, I love that. It's batshit crazy. It upset a few people, but um, who cares? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> uh, so I've done that. Uh, other things we have done, we did the single star custom squonkers. Um, once again, you know, the little Russian squonkers, um, I really do wish that they had just sent them to me plain black or just a plain color. Because I think that the fact that they had that paint scheme on them just actually put people off. Because it, it just looked a bit Mickey Mouse, uh, which is a shame. Um, the Drop Dead RDA, I've spoken about, not a fan. Uh, the Defiant Designs DS and TS are uh, built like a brick shit house. Solid, solid gear. Not my kind of gear. It's not for me. I mean, you know what I like. Uh, I'm single cell, bit of stab wood. Uh, you know, I've got the whole elitist thing going on. Uh, anyway. Uh, so the Defiant design built very, very well, and, and, and Greg's a hell of a nice guy to deal with. Um, and the Intake RTA, which is the most surprising thing I've done this year. Um, I'm There's part of me that will always veer away from paying a compliment to a reviewer that's made something, because I have my own feelings on reviewers and making and gear. I'm a funny bugger that way. Um, that intake RTA is still at this point in time is for the type of draw brilliant but it's probably my favourite RTA this year so far for that kind of draw it's, it's really really good uh, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it um, so that review's up and, and then that's, that's you've seen oh god it was the 29th of June was the last time I did a vlog sorry so sorry um, what else have I been? What's have, what's have been occurring? Um, I've I've not really got much else to tell you. Vape fest, vape fest in Shrewsbury, is is not far away. The beginning of next month down in Shrewsbury, uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Catch up with a lot of friends. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, we watched what we, we binged on the looming tower jeff daniels on amazon prime thoroughly enjoyed that 
thoroughly enjoyed it. It was about the lead up to 9-11 uh, and the uh, political wrangling between the FBI and the CIA. It was, yeah, an eye opener to say the least. Uh, what else have I got here I can show you? You've seen all this already, you've seen all that, and that's that. Have I been watching any other reviews myself? I've not been watching a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm not going to bullshit you on that one. What's in my subscriptions? Let's see if I've watched anything in my subscriptions. It's all car stuff. <laughs> I'm getting car fever again. Uh, this is really bad. Um, I watched uh, Young Richard's video on the Curve S by uh, Eddie, uh, by Darwin Mods. So I've got the the fat boy version. The Curve S is the slimline version. This is for larger people, uh, so mine's just slightly bigger. Um, beautiful mod though, beautiful mod. Uh, so that there's a, I watched that. That's vaping related. Uh, I I tried watching the the Ideal Home Show. I love I, I love the guys to bits. I consider them mates. <laughs> what a <laughs> what a train wreck! <laughs> An absolute train wreck. Uh, that was just unbelievable. That that really was. Um, I watched the uh, young Bob of Fidian Vapes playing with the O Atty X from Odis Design, and th that that's really been. Uh, God no, there must be something else I've watched vaping. I've not even watched Plumes. Um, I was on the Monday Night Live with Dean last week, and and that's all I've done vaping related wise. I'm so I'm really sorry. I live in my own little shed in my own little world. Uh, I'm just out of touch. Really am. Um, other stuff coming up. I don't know. I've got so much gear here to be getting through as it is. Uh, I will this week. Uh, there will be a review up for the E Phoenix Legend and the Vicious Ant Spade for definite. Anything else than that uh, might have to go to next week because uh, um, I'm, it's 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 my mum's birthday this weekend and it's my birthday, so uh, I tend to chill out and relax and uh, there's family get-togethers and things like that so I'll, I'll not get much done towards the end of the week and over the weekend um, that's it there must be other stuff I should tell you about but as usual I can't remember I should take notes I really should um, but before I go a thank you uh, a, a serious thank you to so as always, just for watching, those of you that tune in and watch on a regular basis, much appreciated. Uh, to those of you that are in my little Facebook group that join in with the banter and the carry on, thank you very much. Um, I usually do a little live stream there every day uh, during the week and it's just good crack. It's good fun. And, and But that's it. Guys, as always, thank you for watching and uh, we shall catch you next time. And I just have to figure out how to actually stop this I'll try stopping it from here every time I try and stop it from YouTube it stops too early I'll try stopping it from the OBS side this time right catch you later bye